Hello everyone, quick one. Um, sorry for the noise in case you are hearing noise. Uh, I have to stop and do this video. Really disturbing me when I saw this video. Uh, we want to thank some content creators that posted things about what is happening like that. So I came across this video. It's also a viral video and uh, it's a kind of conversion where is a young married lady. She confessed that uh, she used a menstruation period. Which her instruction was that I should always cook with it for my husband, which I I always do, even when I'm making his pap, even see any kind of dish that I'm making for my husband, I must use that period to cook with it. I, I wouldn't say no, but I, what I really want us to learn, if it is true, is that um, because our, some people can come up with something else. That's why I say I wouldn't be. But let's assume it is a true life story. Guys, don't look for something that is not lost. Frustration will come and it will go. If you believe in God and if you believe in yourself, it will surely come. Yeah, it will come. Believe in God, believe in yourself. Believe that it's nothing God cannot do. Despite the way the country is, people are still surviving. People are still making it. Yeah. And don't just because of present situation, frustration. You understand? And that is why you want to do something like quick, like you want, want it now. You want to fast forward your 10, 15, 30 years, you know, fortune to present. It's always having side effects. Devil will not give you one thing that will not collect one billion. In that conversion, the lady now said she started it, someone took her somewhere, he has her to, to use her period to wash it in the blood, you know, to wash that stuff and use it to cook for her husband and things started moving. At the end of the day, they asked for her, own, our, our, our child, they asked for her child to sacrifice her child. And that was where the problem started, all this whole problem now that led to this confession that I should sacrifice my only son because I had three kids, two girls and a boy that should sacrifice my son. That is the consequence. She even threatened to take my son. So let us always wait on God, no matter how, no matter frustration we are facing, let's learn how to wait for God. Though. It will happen. Okay, how many years you have been enjoying that money? Or does your husband even know? She now crying for help. They said the woman said she she demanded for the only for the or for the son. I think she had about three three children or so. And the woman is asking for her child, for her son. So let's learn how to wait on God and believe tomorrow will be okay no matter whatever we are facing that is just my opinion I'm, a I'm i'm sharing this so that we can learn we can i know it might not easy but let's try let's try no matter we are passing through it will surely go it will come and it will go so god will help us so god will help us